What's good guys, it's Joseph and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this glitch effect right here. You can kind of see that, uh, you know, the both clips are glitching and then there's a split in between them and it just kind of transitions over and then it kind of fades out and there's a glow on top of that to kind of blend everything together. So that's what we're going to be learning how to do today. It's going to be 100% After Effects, so you don't have to worry about getting a third party plugin or anything like that. We're going to be using the program itself to create this. It's going to be quick, easy. You can use it when you're in a pinch and you need some kind, of, some type of transition. If this matches the style, um, you can make it look different every time you use it. It's procedural in that way. So let's go ahead and start from scratch and uh, let's get to it. Got my clips right here. I'm going to make a new composition. Um, and then I'm just going to add both of these clips to the timeline and then I'm going to go ahead and find where I want to split them up Which is right here, and then I'm going to go ahead and go to the bottom clip. I'm going to go ahead and press alt right square bracket key and that's going to Delete everything to the right of that and do the opposite here Alt left square bracket key and it's going to split right there square bracket keys are next to the P key on your keyboard if you if you need to know that. Now that we got that handled away, um, I'm just going to go ahead and say this is my clip and I want to transition right here. Go ahead and make a new composition. Uh, name it Fractal. And then you're going to want to make a new solid in that composition. Press Control Y. And then you want to say you want to name that Fractal. Go ahead and add Fractal Noise to that layer um, with your Effects and Presets tab. Go ahead and go to Soft Linear, change this to Block, put your contrast up to like 2500 to make it, you know, clear as day that it's white, black to the program. And then you want to go to your complexity, put that down to 3 or 2, you want it to be pretty low. Go to your Evolution, press Alt, click on the stopwatch and type Time times 200 and that is going to make this evolve over time there you go then go to transform uniform scaling uncheck that drag the scale width up and you can always go back and change this whenever you want um, and that's pretty good for me I'm gonna go back into my regular composition drag the fractal in here and hide it don't need to show it Go ahead and make a new adjustment layer, layer new adjustment layer or control out Y. I'm going to go ahead and name this displacement and then you're going to want to add displacement map to that adjustment layer. Change the displacement to or change like you know it's going to this is automatically going to be your adjustment layer. Change that to the fractal that we made. Check wrap pixels around. Go to red and green make them both luminance go to where your clips are splitting I'm gonna make this value 70 or like 70 to 100 70 is what I used for the beginning of the video looks fine to me make keyframes on both those values max horizontal displacement max vertical displacement and then I'm gonna go like a second or or something Whatever you can change the, these keyframes whenever if, if it's too long or too short I'm just gonna go about a second maybe a little less down the line and change these values back to zero and Then I'm going to press you on my keyboard I'm just gonna go a little bit before the transition and I'm just gonna go ahead and put those both to zero Because whenever you have an effect You want it to animate on instead of just starting at 70 so like let's say there was nothing on this clip and then it started displacing at 70. It doesn't look as good as if you had to kind of start animating on the clip before and then it kind of, you know, smoothly transitions into the clip and then it transitions out. And you can kind of see the evolution is making the glitch actually work when we did the expression for the time. And so if you don't like how this actually looks, you can go and go over to the composition and change these values for any any of the stuff and it'll automatically change here but I kinda like how it looks already so I'm just gonna leave everything how it was um and that's it that is really it for this effect like that's all you have to do the only other thing you can do is um, you know make a glow 
you know, put a glow on there, put this to like 1.5, and then put the radius up to like 150, 200, or whatever. You can change the threshold, um, and just make a keyframe for intensity, and just do literally the same thing we did for the other keyframes, and you kind of just uh, put the values at zero all here, here, and here. And then highlight all of these, press F9 on your keyboard. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and go to the graph editor for the displacement map. And then I'm going to make this a value graph. Um, I'm just going to highlight these and just drag this arm towards the middle. And same thing with this one. Or I'm going to I'm going to highlight both of them. And just drag these both to the middle. I'm going to drag the one on the top down. And then the same thing with this one. And that's going to kind of make it smooth in and out. And just do the same thing with the glow intensity. And then that's pretty much it. And now you got a pretty good looking effect transition that you can use in your edit. Um, that's pretty much it. That's all I got. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, go ahead and comment down below. My DMs are open on Twitter. If you enjoyed the video, if it helped you out, or if you just want to support me, go ahead and leave a like and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I'm out. Peace.